Today we're going to be doing a follow up on the unboxing I recently did of the Ducky 1-2SF mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches. This video is going to consist of two major parts, the first being a key switch test of the Cherry MX Brown switches on this keyboard and the second being an overview of the RGB modes that this keyboard has. Uh, just to add some clarity on how to access different modes and the different key commands uh, to activate them as in this keyboard they are all on the keyboard rather than in the software itself. So first of all let's get into the test of the Cherry MX Brown switches on this keyboard. Next up, we're going to be looking at the different RGB LED backlight modes that are available on the Ducky 12SF mechanical keyboard. Now these are important to know because it's not at first super obvious uh, what the different modes are and how to change between them. Uh, I'll include a manual that I found in the description that uh, has a full overview of all these modes. But for this video, we'll just get into the basic ones that will help you uh, move around your Ducky 12SF keyboard and change between the different modes. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So starting off with the keyboard in its stock configuration, you'll see no LEDs active. But to change into our first mode and to change into all subsequent modes, the key combination we're going to use is Function, Alt and T. And so to, do, to change in our first mode, we'll just click Function, Alt, T, and this activates our first RGB mode. This is the first mode available on this keyboard, and it is known as the Wave mode. This mode will just display, as you can see, a wave of colors across this, the keyboard under the key caps uh, of all the different colors of the rainbow. There's not a whole lot you can do with, these, uh, with this mode, but you can increase and decrease the speed using the same function alt uh, key combination plus the J and the L keys. So we just click function alt and if we click J, this will slow down our wave mode. If we click function alt and L, this will, as you can see, speed up our wave mode. And so this means you can customize it as much as you want. So that's our first mode, the wave mode. So now if we click function alt T again, this brings us to our second mode. And this mode is color cycle mode. So this is pretty similar to the wave mode. However, instead of having a wave running across the keyboard of color, you have as slow transitions between the different colors of the rainbow. And this will give you yeah, a nice, more clean look, but still getting the different colors of the rainbow. And similarly to the first mode, this can be sped up or slowed down using function Alt J and L keys. So as you can see now, it's switching between them really fast. So this is the third mode available on the keyboard. It's called the raindrop mode. This mode just shows a uh, droplets of color all across the keyboard constantly as if rain was falling on the keyboard. Uh, there's no more customization about this one apart from the speeding up and slowing down of the changes that we saw in the previous uh, modes. This is our fourth mode and it's called ripple mode. At first you won't really see anything on the keyboard until we touch it. This is the first of our interactive keyboard uh, lighting modes. So if I touch a key, you'll see a ripple of color is pushed across the keyboard. If we touch another key, it does the same thing going out from the each key. The same thing out from each key. So that's our ripple mode. So our fifth mode on this keyboard is called the random reactive mode. So if we click 
our keys each time it will show a different color on our keyboard so this is reacting to our keys key presses and showing a random color and as you can see they slowly fade away uh, on it after each key press so this is our sixth mode and this mode is known as the reactive mode and this is also the first of our modes that can the color can be customized on so as you can see we don't have anything happening just yet but if I press F function alt again you'll see the Z X and C keys light up now these correspond to your red green and blue on the RBG color spectrum so if I start pressing these keys this will change what color the keys light up so now as you can see the keys are all lighting up when I press them but in the color that I chose so say if I want to press V to reset those colors and then I just want to go red so there's 10 different levels for each of these color modes so if I click Z which is our red color button 10 times to Now you can see this is the color that all our keys are going to go when we press them. So now each time I press a key, you'll see it lights up red. And we can do the same for the other colors. So if I reset again and we do, say we want to go fully blue, we just want to press this as many times as you want, as bright as you want to get it, all the way up to 10. And as you can see, my function alt keys are changing as we go. And see that just went back to the start because we went past 10. And if I go again, that's our brightest blue color. So now our keys will change to blue. So you can do this with whatever color you want. And there's also a handy trick in here. So if we want to pick a color, we don't necessarily want to use these keys. Instead, we can go function alt space bar, and this will show our full color spectrum. So you can do this for any of the customizable color modes. So if we say want to pick this nice blue color in here, click that. So now this will be our color for this mode. So now if I press the keys, you can see that bluey green color is showing up. So that's a really nice feature because it saves you from clicking away the Z, X and C keys to try and get your ideal color. So this is our seventh mode on this, the Ducky keyboard. This mode is called our reactive breathe mode. And similar to the other, the previous one, it will react based on your key press. However, instead of just lighting up a single key like our previous one, when you press a key now, it will light up a pulse around the key and create like a breathing effect around that key. It might be a bit hard to see on camera, but you can see sort of around each of the keys, the keys around it are lighting up as well. So that's our reactive breathe mode. And similar to all the other ones, you can change the colors on this mode as well. So the eighth mode on the ducky keyboard is our breathe mode. So as you can see, it's pretty obvious straight away. This will create a pulsing effect as if the keyboard is breathing. So the light will get darker and dimmer as if it's breathing in and out. And similarly, you can change the color of this. So say we want this blue color again, and this will breathe. And you can also increase and decrease the speed of its breathing as well, like our previous modes. So our second last mode, this is at the most basic mode out of all of them. And this shows just a pure color and is generally the mode a lot of people are going to use because it's simple it provides a backlight and you can match it to any aesthetic you want so this is the same as all the other color modes where you can customize what colors you want with the rgb keys or you can use our rainbow picker and pick purple uh or say we want to pick another color we'll pick this ready orange color up here so that's our full backlit mode last of all we have our radar mode so this just creates a radar on the keyboard and it's a pretty cool effect um, and you can also decrease the speed of this one and 
change our color as well, like all the other modes. And then finally, if we press function alt T one more time, this fully turns off the key color. And one last final handy tip, say we've gone into a color mode and for some reason we don't want any color modes anymore. We just want to go back to our normal uh, unbacklit keyboard. Instead of having to scroll through all the options, instead you can hold function, alt and T for three seconds. And if you wait, that turns off our colors. And that's the easiest way to deactivate your backlight after using it. And then you can just reactivate it with the function, alt and T buttons. So that's all the backlighting modes for the Ducky 12SF mechanical keyboard. So thank you for watching and Stay tuned for more videos on the Ducky 12SF mechanical keyboard. I'll be coming out with a review sometime soon on my thoughts after using it for a little bit. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. All right, bye.